Hello, and welcome back. It's a beautiful day to blow up a world. Hey, wait a minute. I wanted to do that. Today, we're gonna start with a blank one. We're gonna make one small island and one big island. We're gonna put a bunch of advanced people on the small island and a bunch of idiots on the big island. Absolute dummies. Let's do a small island over here, and let's do a really big one over here. That looks, that looks pretty big. Don't you think? I know this is totally extra to make the shallow waters on the coast, but it just bugs me if we don't, you know? It just looks goofy if we don't. Okay, here we go. Add them some land. I know what you're thinking, and I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. It doesn't look like anything sus anymore, okay? All right, let's give them kind of a mixture. A little bit of this. Listen to that sound. That's the sound of a world being formed. I hear that sound all the time. Okay, so, I mean, we don't need to make it too perfect. Let's not get too crazy with the people want to see people fight, and I understand that. Let's go ahead and kind of give it a little two-toned thing going on here. There we go. And then, you know the drill. Vortex everything. Make it look crunchy. Look at it. Ooh, look at it all wiggling. Oh, it's disgusting to watch. Ooh, I hate that. Ooh, why are they wiggling like that? What do they want? Keep them away from me. They're so disg- Ooh. Anyway, you get the idea. Okay, so let's go ahead and do- Let's do humans on both. Actually, wait, hold up. You guys aren't supposed to be here yet. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna give these people everything they'd ever want, right? We're gonna turn off old age and hunger. We're gonna turn off rebellions. And we're just gonna turn off everything that's dangerous. And we're gonna crank up the speed for them, all right? Sonic speed, even. And maybe we'll even give them fast cultures to speed speed this up a little bit. I think we should give them just grass biome and maybe we'll give them grass biome as well. Let's just throw a little bit of jungle over here, maybe a little bit of swamp and maybe a little bit of, I don't know, mushroom over here? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Maybe some, just a dash of lemon, you know, just for a little, little, little flavor. Some trees, there you all go. How did someone die? Okay, hold up. Peaceful monsters as well. Let's give them some more people. Let's just let them grow to maybe a hundred population. Look at them grow. Nice. All right, their culture is level 63, which I think is maximum. So they have everything. They can make all sorts of weapons. They can use all sorts of stuff. They got armies, trading boats, transport boats, house, tier, one, two, three, four, five, six, and all sorts of other goodies they have level three knowledge. They can make stuff out of all the different types of materials. I've heard rumors they're pretty efficient at mining. You know the drill. They, y you know what I mean. They got everything. They got everything they need to know. On this side, now let's go ahead and turn off fast cultures and let's actually slow it down. Okay, now we're gonna place all sorts of people over here. In Roar, let's give them a thousand. There we go, a thousand. Okay, now that we've done that, we can now enable Kingdom Expansion again. Let's turn off all this good stuff, turn that back on, turn the disasters back on, and we're back to it. We'll leave Hunger off, I think, because these guys are just gonna instantly starve if we don't, because there's way too many of them, and they have one tent and no food, so that just ain't gonna work. Let's rename them to dummies. In wealth, we believe. Well, you're gonna have to get some first, if you know what I mean. They're literally too stupid to know that they need to be doing something. Look at all of them just standing around. They've been alive for about 30 seconds and they're just like, what do we even do? We're in this giant world and they gotta hurry because eventually the other kingdom will make their way over here. You guys better spread out quick. There they go, they're spreading out like the good dummies we know them to be. How are you guys doing? Still living the dream? King Fidosh, 69 years old, level seven. Nice. We are awesome in the shadows. Keep telling yourself that, buddy boy. All right, looks like the dummies are expanding. They've got four villages now. They got a little dumb one up here, a silly one up here, a goofy one over here, and the ultimate stupid vill right in the middle. They still have way too many people that don't know what to do, but they'll figure it out. And over here, Realm of the Ah, 152. That's probably the max population, huh? What are they at here? Oh, they can go up to 279. Okay, they got plenty of space. Oh, wait. I don't know if they can make enough villages to hold them, though. We'll see. They're gonna definitely have to expand, though. And when they do... Oh, they just did, I think. We got people. We got invaders. The smart guys are here. Sound the alarm. The smart guys are here. Dummies. Battle stations. Uh, they're not actually at war yet. Okay, they're actually uh, not. The dummies are too dumb to know about war. They haven't figured that out yet. Look at these smart little scarf wearing little ship sailing civilization building little prudes. You know, setting up camp in the swamp. The dummies, they know what to do. Just look how smart they look. His name is, <laughs> this dude's name is 
Heh, <laughs> pretty cool. Love that. All right, so they're spreading out. Still four villages. They've got a little extra space for more population. They still believe in wealth. That much is for certain. They don't have any wealth, but they still believe in it. They believe that someday, maybe, they'll have it. Culture, level six. They just figured out how to make sharp sticks. Good for them. These guys remain leveled at 63, which is the maximum. These guys know how to do everything. Okay, these guys invented cell phones like a long time ago. These guys, they don't even know how to tie their shoes yet. In fact, they don't even have shoes. Okay, how's this little village coming along? Dropping off more people? They're pretty committed to taking over the big island. These kids have an important job. They gotta grow up big and strong and smart so they can kill dummies someday. The dummies, they spread rapidly to every corner of the earth. The smart guys, will they be able to overpower them? Will they just not even bother overpowering them? Let's find out. A new dummy village has been spawned down here in the jungle. Closer and closer to the smart guys. In fact, let's just go ahead and name them to smart guys. If we're gonna keep calling them that. 200 population, two out of nine villages. They are advancing. Look at these houses. They haven't figured out how to put doors on them yet, but you know what? They'll get there someday, I know it. Look, they know how to make weapons. Wood spear? Are you sure that's not just a stick? It looks a lot like a stick, doesn't it? Hmm. It looks an awful lot like a stick. Who do you think's smarter? This lemon guy named La Lay? Or this guy named Abumapi? It's honestly hard to say. Hey, look, they figured out how to make crops. Congratulations, you guys can eat food now. Wait, is this still off? Turn that back on. It's time. We will be getting a new age eventually, too, but uh, not yet. Okay. Ooh, look at them building their fancy concrete buildings on the island. Spreading up the coast. King Deleshu of Smart Guys is dead. Dang. That's a bummer. Who's king of the dummies, anyway? King Nagadi with a memorable, I'm not even gonna try to read that, stick. Created by Furo from Dummies 20 years ago. Very cool. Love that. 236 to 1000, almost 1100. And they're out of space. The smart guys are gonna have to fight the dummies in order to do this. The smart guys have just declared war on the dummies. And boy, oh boy, do they have an army on this ship ready to go. I actually didn't really look to see how they're outfitted. Okay, so they don't really have that much. Here comes the army. Oh man, they're killing everybody out here. They're just gonna take it so quick, no way. No way, they're just taking it. There's no, no one defending it. Um, dummies? The villagers are making a final stand. Whoa, all of these guys are starving too. It's a good thing they declared war. They probably had to, they were out of food on that island. And they're killing everybody. They're ki they killed everybody. Okay, well, um, yeah, the dummies are gone. They lose. Game over for the dummies. And how does that affect the culture now? Okay, so this culture is still here being dummies. And this culture is still here being smarties. That's funny. So the, the smart guys just brought a bunch of the dummies into their kingdom. And now they still have this big blob of people that are dumb and don't know what to do and are now starving. So, um, yeah, give it some time. There's about to be a lot of deaths. You guys are going to figure out food? Oh my gosh. Was that just... Was that a... Okay, wait, what was that? That was the meteor event, but it didn't say there was a meteor. They just blew up. Whoa, okay, all right. Well, people are starving, and apparently meteors are landing on top of them. So the dummies, honestly, they're kind of doing what we'd expect them to do. They don't know how to eat. They only know how to get hit by meteors. So the smart guys definitely win with actually pretty much no struggle at all. They basically just sent one boat full of people on it and took over the entire dummy kingdom, like instantly. That was pretty uh, dumb to watch. But now we get a new age, Age of Ash. Just what the dummies need. They're already starving to death. There's about to be a lot of deaths, I think. All these starving people are dropping like flies. Fellas, eat bread. All right, well, that's it. GG's tornado out here on X Games mode. All right, cool. Well, yeah, dummies, uh, they lost. I don't know what you were expecting to happen. They were just gonna like use their dumb power and just win with dumb luck. That's not how things work. So the smart guys, they used just a little bit of strategy and made just a few weapons and they took over the whole island. So good for them. Hopefully this was a um, good lesson for you guys. If you were deciding whether or not you wanted to be dumb or smart when you grow up, I think we can conclude that being smart is a little bit better. Unless you just want to have a good time because these people look like they're having a great time, honestly. Look at them. They're not even working. They're just hanging out. Smart guys, they're hard workers and that looks boring. Snooze. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.